Hi, I'm Dr. Tay. Still on the endocannabinoid system, I'd like to talk on a topic called endocannabinoid deficiency syndrome. Now, Dr. Ethan Russo uh, is a prominent cannabinoid doctor from the States and done a lot of work and a lot of studies into cannabis therapeutically and the endocannabinoid system. And he's come up with a in a paper called Clinical Endocannabinoid Deficiency Reconsidered, 2006, by Dr. Russo, he's looked at what he's termed endocannabinoid deficiency uh, in a, a group of diseases, inflammatory diseases mainly, and this group includes anorexia nervosa, motion sickness, fibromyalgia, Huntington's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, menstrual problems, migraine, MS, Parkinson's, PTSD, schizophrenia, migraine um, and seizure disorders and mood disorders, including anxiety and depression. And what he postulates is that basically the endocannabinoid tone or level of activity of the endocannabinoid system in some individuals is decreased. So uh, we may get a stimulus that's wanting our endocannabinoid system to activate and bring our body back into homeostasis, and our body's attempting to do that. Uh, and you can see this by increased expression of cannabo cannabinoid receptors in the affected areas and physiological systems and parts of the brain. Um, but for some reason, our body is unable to bring these responses back into balance, into control. Why is this? Maybe because we're not feeding our endocannabinoid system properly. Um, our Western diet is high in omega-6 and low in omega-3. If you watch my earlier podcast, you see the importance of having these omega-3s in our diet. Um, if we haven't got the omega-3s, we can't make our bodies endocannabinoids. So it doesn't matter how much stimulation our endocannabinoid system is receiving, doesn't matter how much um, plant or phytocannabinoid medicine you put in, if your body's endocannabinoid system is not at its peak, as efficient as it can be, it can't respond, it can't make, uh, it can't make the endocannabinoids in our system. Additionally, the lack of endo, uh, omega-3 oils in our body causes <clears throat> receptor malformation in the cannabinoid receptors. So cannabinoid receptors are what are called a G-protein receptor. And if we haven't got enough omega-3, in the formation of these receptors, we get a dislodging of the cannabis receptor off its protein base on the um, cell membrane. So it effectively <clears throat> can't bind uh, THC or plant cannabinoids or endocannabinoids efficiently. So no matter how much the stimulation, we can't get our body systems back into balance. So this is um, very relevant in my practice. I have lots of patients that I think suffer from this uh, syndrome uh, and respond very well to endocannabinoid supportive measures uh, and then supplemental phytocannabinoids or medicinal cannabis. So this is a massive area of society and you may be one of those people that can't, can't get well as is constantly in pain, is, has inflammation everywhere, things like fibromyalgia, things like MS, you know, uh, things like even rheumatoid arthritis, uh, Crohn's disease. All these inflammatory conditions could have a basis in um, endocannabinoid deficiency or insufficiency. So remember to feed your endocannabinoid system. You don't have to feed it plant cannabinoids. You can feed it many things that support it. And check my earlier podcast to have, a, have an idea of how you can feed your endocannabinoid system. And uh, I think this is a very preventable area of, of disease in our society. So endocannabinoid deficiency reconsidered. Ethan Russo, 2006. Thanks. I'm Dr. Tay.